Davies fell off, man. Sorry to tell y'all. Torture talk, man. So let's get into this, man. Before we do, like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. You know what I mean? If you feel like to donate into the Cash app, you can. It's in the description. Let's get into it. Dave East drops a new one. All right, so listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to keep it as honest as possible. And I want people to understand that this is coming from a place of, how would I say, critiquing, but not bias. I like Dave East. Dave East is a pretty good rapper. Dave East is not a good artist anymore. Dave East's new album, to me, it's not something that I would ever listen to again. One of the main reasons why I think that is because Dave East lacks content. He raps about, literally raps about the same thing every time he raps. It's the same thing. There's nothing different. Some, even... He even go as far as using the same words and content. And I know that sounds the same, but if you, you know, piece it together, he literally uses the same schemes. And he's a phrase rapper. So he, which not mean phrase rapper, but he's a subject jumper. So he jumps from one subject to the next subject, 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 to the next subject. The next subject. He doesn't elaborate on anything. It's like, Everything is my niggas, my niggas going through the grind or I know, I know bitches that do this or I got your hoe. She, she, she this or I got, I brought this thousand dollar belt or like, come on, bro. Stop it, bro. You are a rapper. You are an artist now, bro. You're not just rapping like you did four years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. You need, he has no growth. And it's like, it's so frustrating because I see the potential in Davies, but he has no growth. And it's like, when are you going to grow up out of this? We get it that you a street dude, bro. We know. What else though? You need to have a little more to you. Like, all right, I'll give you an example. Your best, your best verse, the best verse on that album was when he battled, or not battled, but when he rapped with Benny the Butcher. I actually think he had a better verse than Benny. You know what I'm saying? I know people probably be like, oh, nah, you crazy. Nah, I really think he had a better verse than Benny. That's your lane, bro. That's what you need to be. All these other songs that you're doing with these young boys and, and trying to sound like uh, this turn up and that shit is dead. It's over for that, bro. You are an artist. Create something. Create some type of music. You know what I'm saying? Use your ability to its finest ability. Not something that's just gonna you think is gonna get some radio play or not even radio play, because who listens to the radio anyway? Where it's gonna get the hit the billboard charts and all this stuff. And maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe your label is making you do this. Who knows? But I'm saying if your label isn't making you do this, bro. You got to do better because what you're putting out now, it just, it just, it's tarnishing you. And to the point where you're not even in my top 10 anymore of this generation, you actually fell fast. You are probably one of the most di disappointing new dudes because you had the most potential out of a lot of these dudes. You're not in the conversation with Kendrick. You're not in the conversation with a Cole. Definitely not a conversation with a Drake. You're not a conversation with a crit, not Sean, uh, 
a bunch of people. You're not in that conversation no more because you have failed. So this album, to me, is a complete waste of time. It's like the production is okay. That's another thing that bothers me about Davies. The beats he pick don't really fit him. And it's just be like, oh my God, what is this? And he said a bar that really stood out. And I have to repeat it because I just think it's funny. He said, <laughs> what did he say? He said, I ran into, I ran into a fiend. She said she was uh, still high from 2005. Like, come on, bro. Like, if that's a punch... I get it, but if, it would have been better if you made a whole song about that. You know what I'm saying? That you, how you, how you either ruined her life or she she became a better person. I don't know, just anything. But just the whole the whole notion of of that. I get it. You're just rapping, but that's trash. And it's like that's trash. Like, come on, man. Come on. Like you said some fire bars. Like don't get me wrong. Like the whole the whole um the whole coat looked like I mean the whole shit looked like Trump and all that shit. That was fire. Like you have it. You're just not using it because I don't know if you're trying to catch some catch a fire on to something else. No, dog, do you. But not some extra goofy shit you've been doing for the last couple of albums. It's like, what is this? Oh, we know you're real. We know. We know. Why do you keep trying to prove it to us? I don't understand it. Like, we know. We know you have enough material for your street niggas. Give us some art, bro. That's what we need. Not something that you're going to keep regurgitating the same thing for the same street niggas. You're never going to grow that way. You could do a mixtape for that. Whatever. But give us some material that we can actually say, yeah, this is the Dave East we need. Because right now you're not doing it. Like I said, man, Torture Talk. I'll get this album. I'll get this album a strong four, man. Pushing up to a five. It's not a good album. A lot of skippable tracks, even though I listen to the whole thing. I, some of the tracks, I listen to it, but I struggle getting through it. I would never listen to this album again. Ever. It's not nothing on there that would make me run back to this album. Never. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torture Talk. You know what it is. Get your shit together, Dave. For real, man.